what is up you guys welcome back to the channel today i have a special unboxing these are the fugazi one in the chambers this shoe is pretty similar to a jordan one this is not a nike collaboration at all i know people on instagram have been asking that like i've seen people in the comments like asking if this is like like what collab this was or these aren't jordan ones but it's the same shape same everything pretty much but you, you'll just have to see i'll get into it in a second but yeah these were designed by trevor gorgi i don't even know what to call him he's like a i guess like I don't even I don't even know what I would call him. He hangs out with Jacob and Fernando. He's in a lot of their videos, so you've probably seen him there if you watch any of Jacob's channel or Fernando's channel. Um, he's the owner of two brands, which are North Korea Skate Team and Fugazi. Now Fugazi, Fugazi, however you want to pronounce it. I've been waiting for these for a long time. I ordered these on November twenty seventh of last year, obviously, and there was a bunch of shipping delays, so that's why it took so long for them to get here. I think it was like what's today. Today's January 23rd, so it took almost two months to get here, which isn't ideal because I was getting kind of impatient and I kept um, sending Trevor DMs. I was like, dude, when are they gonna be here? And he was like, we're getting things worked out with FedEx. Everybody was complaining about not getting the shoes, but I'm just glad I finally got my pair. I honestly have no clue how I got this shoe when it released because they sold out instantly. I checked out with Apple Pay, I was pretty fast. I did not use a bot, so don't try to accuse me of doing that. But um, I'm trying to get this video up before anybody else can do a review on the shoe. So hopefully get some views, maybe not. Honestly, I might get like 300 views again so we'll just have to see but i'm just gonna get right into the shoe now i don't know why i have this kind of knife i'm pretty sure they use these to like gut animals so that's strange but i'm gonna use it so retail on these was 187 plus 13 dollars shipping so the total was 200 dollars. oh shit this is taking me way too long all right, so this is the box they come in. There's kind of a glare off the sun. But you can see it has like this bandana print going all around like this paisley pattern. I'm not sure what to call it, but then in the middle it just says one in the chamber and has a little hand in, or dagger in hand logo. All right. These are insane. So this is the shoe. It's pretty much the same colorway. It is the same colorway as a Jordan 1 Chicago. There's quite a few major differences there that I'll point out throughout this video. Let me just get both shoes out first and let you know what it includes in the box. So first you get this dust bag, which is really nice. It's just a red dust bag. It's a nice feature that it came with these. Then you get a little card that says, this just says that the laces, the lace tips can be detached from the laces. And then it says, simply add some super glue into the metal aglet, insert the lace tip and allow one hour to dry. Okay, I'm, I'm really confused about that, but I'll figure it out. And then also it just includes some white laces. And then something I saw him post on Instagram the other day. Oh no, I just ripped the paper. Well, I ripped the paper, but it comes with like a poster that says two two Trev wanted $250,000 reward, which is really random. I'm not sure why this is in there, but so that's great. Then lastly, there's a small dust bag. Oh, okay. And these are just, let me just set this box. These are just like a bunch of little, you guys can see. Okay, I, I understand now. So you glue, all right, so there's these, which you put around the lace tips. So you glue these little things right here they're hollow in the bottom. You glue these on top of the lace tips and then you screw the actual bullet shaped tips onto the end of them. So that's cool. I'll probably be able to put these on another shoe. So I'm gonna keep these in a little bag. All right, so looking at the shoe as a whole, there's a lot of very noticeable differences between this and the Jordan 1. Obviously, right off the bat, you can see that instead of a Nike swoosh, there's a revolver flipped upside down. I'm not very knowledgeable in like what he was going for with this shoe, but he posted like a video of like cowboys. He did like the wanted thing. There's that, there's the revolver upside down. And then on the back, there's um, five rounds, which I guess, I mean, a revolver holds six bullets. So I'm assuming that like one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, you got the gun on the side, the rounds on the back, and then instead of obviously the wings logo on a Jordan 1, you have this, it shows the actual chamber right here and that shows one little hole filled. And then one of my favorite details in this shoe is the like bandana paisley pattern that runs from the underlay, like this black underlay, it runs behind this red right here and it goes all the way down. And it's the same way on the other side. The lace tips are these like golden bullets, which I think is a really cool touch, but I'll show you guys how it works. You just unscrew the bullet from the lace so that you can fit it through the lace, like the eyelets, obviously. Also, 
on the tow box instead of just having like regular um like air holes for breathability there's bullet holes like just scattered all over i don't think they're symmetrical yeah they're not symmetrical at all they legit look like bullet holes i actually really like that touch as well then on the tongue it just says fugazi and has the dagger in the hand right there and then on the inside of the tongue it says wanted dead or alive two tooth trev which is like that's the same thing that the wrapping paper said and then on the bottom like this is where uh like Nike Air would normally be. It's just blank. The sole is the exact same, I believe, as a Jordan 1. Like the geometry of the, the bottom is the exact same. I do believe that some of the stitching is different just off looking at it. On the sole though, there's like, I don't know if you can see this, but there's still stars. Like all Jordan 1s and Air Force 1s have the same kind of stars. Oh, I actually forgot to show you guys this. So I don't know if I was supposed to take these insoles out because they're really hard to get out of the shoe. The actual, like the print on the insoles is like a target range, like a gun range, I guess. And then it has just the Fugazi logo on the bottom of the left one. So that's also a really cool touch, even though you can't even see it on the outside of the shoe. I don't know if he could get in trouble for making these. Like, I don't know if there's like a copyright issue with Nike or what. I, mean, I have a Rick Owens Nike part two with Trevor Gorgia, cease and desist. I can see that. These are honestly probably my new favorite sneakers. Uh, I'm not just saying that because Trevor made them, but I really do like these. The attention to detail and the design behind these is just crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna make an outfit with the shoe and I'm gonna start off with the hoodie. This is from Neverland Supply. If any of you guys watch Andrew's channel, you probably know about this. This is his brand. This is the Oyster Dress hoodie is what it's called. This it says Neverland across the bottom. It's a really cool hoodie. It fits cropped. It has like a unique fit to it. It's not just like a blank. I'm pretty sure it's cut and sew. I'm not 100% on that though. Then I'm gonna be pairing that with these acne studios denim it's a really light wash the sun is like completely blinding these out but they're blue i promise they're not white and then obviously for the shoes the new johns all right so i forgot to actually film an on body shot of my outfit earlier so i'm just going to show you guys that right now All right, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Leave a comment, tell me how the video was. I changed my setup. I'm not sure if you guys like this better or not. Uh, let me know in the comments. Like I said, subscribe, comment, like. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.